Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go through an example of finding the equation of a parabola given that we have the coordinates of the turning point and one point. Reading this question we've got the coordinates of the turning point of a parabola are minus 2, 4 and the parabola passes through the point 3, minus 46. Find the rule for this parabola. To find the rule of a parabola, whenever you're given the coordinates of the turning point, which is also known as the vertex, you need to use the general rule for a parabola written in turning point form. And this is y is equal to a times x minus h all squared and then plus k. Where the value of a is some dilation factor, the value of h is the x coordinate of the turning point and the value of k is the y coordinate of the turning point. We're told that the turning point has the coordinates minus 2 and 4. And so this means that the value of h is equal to minus 2 and the value of k is equal to 4. And so subbing this into the general rule, we're going to get y is equal to a times x minus and then minus 2 all squared and then plus 4. Cleaning this up, this is going to be a times x plus 2 all squared plus 4. And now we need to work out the value of a. And to do this, we're going to use the coordinates of the other point. And this is the point 3 minus 46. This basically means that when x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 46. And so if we let x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 46, and sub this in into the general rule, we can solve for the value of a. And so we're going to get minus 46 is equal to a times, and then x plus 2, so this is going to be 3 plus 2 all squared, and then plus 4. And so minus 46 is going to equal 3 plus 2 squared is 25, and so this will be 25a plus 4. And now rearranging this to solve for a, we're going to get minus 46 minus 4, which is minus 50, is equal to 25a. And so dividing both sides by 25, a is going to be minus 50 divided by 25, which means the value of a is equal to minus 2. And so therefore, the rule of this parabola is going to be y is equal to minus 2 times x plus 2 all squared and then plus 4. Which brings us to the end of this question. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, click on the like button or comment below and let me know. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.